Hi everyone, in this lecture we will talk about set data structure, okay? So we are going to discuss the set STL and set is a container that is used to store a unique collection of elements, okay? And in STL you again have uh, something called a set and you also have something called unordered set, okay? So set is by default ordered and it follows uh, criteria to sort the elements by their values okay so it can store unique elements for example if you have uh, array which contains let's say four five uh, one 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 two three okay suppose these are the elements and let's say you insert these elements inside a set then it will store only unique elements let's say one two three four and five and this can be useful in some problems where maybe you want to re uh, remove redundant elements that could be one use case or maybe you uh, suppose you're finding out permutations of a number okay and number has some re repeated digit so you generate all the permutations you put them inside a set and you will get all the permutations which are in a sorted order if you use set and if you use unordered set you might not get those in a sorted order okay and talking about the internals of the set it uses a tree like data structure it can be a bst it can be a red black tree it can be okay yeah so it's going to be a red black tree so most of the operations like insertion of an element removal of an element they are going to take a uh, log n time okay so this most of the operations are going to be order log n like insertion and removal of an element one uh, special thing about set is uh, once you in have inserted one element inside the set you can, can cannot update the value of the element okay you can't update elements and if you want to modify let's say you want to make 3 as 13 then you have to remove 3 and you have to insert 13 in the set okay so you have to do these two operations if you want to update some value in the set so update is not allowed on a set so you can uh, insert elements, you can iterate over elements, you can erase elements, you can check if an element is present or not. So this is about set and now we will look at implementation of the set STL. Okay, so let's begin with that. Okay, so let's discuss some basic functions of the set data structure. So let's say hash include set and here I create one array and let's say that contains some elements 10 20 11 uh, 9 8 8 uh, 11 10 okay let's say number of element is this upon size of int and what i am interested is in uh, i want to uh, insert these elements in a set okay so i will make a set of integers okay? and let's call it s and let's iterate over all the elements from 0 to i less than n i plus plus and then i can use the insert method provided by set okay s dot insert and here i can write array of i okay so let's try to print uh, iterate over the set and print all the elements of the set okay so for set int iterator Okay, so set has its own iterator that can be written like this or you can use the auto keyword uh, sorry this should be like this and let's say this uh, goes from s dot begin till s it is not equal to s dot end and here i can do it plus plus c out star of it <coughs> okay so this should give me what all elements are present in the set and by default these elements are ordered and let's see the output so ideally we should get all these elements in the sorted order okay we can remove this and you can see 8 9 10 11 and 20 so two things to note here first set is storing unique elements and set is also ordered okay elements are ordered that's how this works okay so let's also try to erase some element let's say s dot erase 
and this erase function uh, might not work like this okay if i say okay erase 10 let's see if this works okay but i think it accepts an iterator so we have to first find an element and then we should we can erase it okay okay this also works uh, this way uh, yeah yeah okay okay so this is one way to erase an element or you can say uh, auto it equals to s dot find uh, <coughs> yeah s dot find let's say 11 and maybe s dot erase it okay so i can recall now uh, it can either accept the value of the element you want to erase it can also accept the iterator uh, that to the element that you want to delete okay so both the ways are fine so let's see <coughs> And now you can see both 10 and 11 are gone from the set okay so this is about uh, the set stl and we will see some use cases in the coming videos okay thanks a lot see you guys in the next video